Welcome back and welcome back to all of our guests on today's show. Let's see, Julia, we got Randy, Shona and Leanne. As we count down the days until summer, one, I don't think any of us are going to forget anytime soon. So I want to know about your most memorable summer up to now and what makes it memorable for you. And you know what, I'm going to start with Randy. Your most memorable summer, Ran. Oh, you know what? I can never forget this summer. It was the strangest thing. I was 13. You know, I didn't have any bills. I didn't have any things going on, no responsibilities. <laughs> and my father lent me, <laughs> he lent me $50 to plant some sweet corn, an acre of sweet corn on his farm. So the corn grew and then I would throw the corn in the back of my ATV in the, in the wagon part and I'd drive around the lake in the trailer parks and sell the corn to um, I love unsuspecting it. clients, <laughs> let's put it that way. But you know what? I was cash flow positive. I didn't have any bills. I lived at home, I didn't have rent, I didn't have a mortgage. I was like, I wasn't even into girls at the time. I was like, I don't know what to do with all this money. <laughs> Living free. Uh, oh my gosh. I need for I need for you and Leo to get together. I feel like you had parallel childhoods, like selling corn out of the back of an ATV and making money when you have no expenses. This is the life. Leo still sees that as the best moment ever. So I love this story. It's so good. Totally. Um, okay, let me go to show <laughs> <Thank> that. <you. laughs> Shona, your most <laughs> memorable summer, hon. Well, I mean, we travel a lot in the summer normally, not this year, and we love New York City. We go all the time. And I remember one trip that Greg, there was no special occasion, which makes it even better. Greg arranged for a company to set up this really elaborate picnic in the middle of Central Park, and he surprised me with it. And we sat there and lounged for hours, drinking sparkling wine, listening to the street musicians in the middle of Central Park on the most beautiful summery day. I'll never, ever, ever forget that. That is incredible, and I've told you this before. Greg is a keeper, right? Oh, <laughs> absolutely, no <laughs> doubt about it. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> LA, would you like to talk to us about your most memorable summer? Absolutely. I, I distinctly remember this one because there was a lead up of several summers to this particular one. And it was the summer that my parents finally caved and let me go camping. And it's something that I had asked them to do. They are not campers. Their idea of camping was always in a hotel. And this year, I think it was about 12, they finally allowed me to go to overnight camp. And I was so excited. And part of the first, one of the first tasks was we had to pitch our tent and it was with a couple of other girls that I didn't know. We went off to dinner, did the campfire after dinner and we came back to get ready for bed. And our tent was in a tree. The wind had literally lifted it and it was in a tree and it was ripped and we ended up just sleeping on the grass that night, open sky, and I was terrified the entire time. So needless to say, that was a pivotal summer for me where I realized I did not enjoy camping and it was back to hotels every summer after that with my parents. At least you tried, right? I'm like your parents. I want to camp in the hotel. So thanks. Good story, LA. Okay, Julia, you are up. Your most memorable summer, hon. Okay, every year on the 1st of August, up at our cottage, we have an annual regatta where all the cottagers compete against each other. I mean, this has been going on forever. I think last year we had like the 75th anniversary of the regatta. Now, very serious was a teenager. What do you wear to regatta? There are some, you know, cute boys up at the cottage, just saying. Well, Tracy, this picture makes me laugh so hard. I am working my best 90 shorts, like you don't even understand how high-waisted those babies are, trying to get that guy <laughs> in the blue shirt with those shades to take notice. Well, it might have taken a few years, but he took notice. That's my husband, Doug. <laughs> Clearly, the high-waisted shorts that did it. I love that story because you guys are together now. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you my most memorable summer. About four <laughs> years ago, Leo and I started taking off without the kids, and we started doing it for our 10th uh, wedding anniversary. And the first year, we went to Spain, and we looked at each other, and we're on, you know, a beach in Malaga drinking sangria, and we were like, what? took us this long it was just this moment and we always try now every year to do this go far away with each other this year's going to be a little bit different so maybe good. we'll just take it to the backyard 
Um, but that has been, that's probably my most memorable summers have been spent away with him because it's just such quality time. I love your stories. And Julie, I love your high-waisted shorts. I'm a 90s girl. So here's what our viewers had to say about their memorable summers. Kim says, love City Line. I've been watching since my Toronto University days many years ago. Now in Vancouver, and my pick is my Jack Russell on the beach during a visit to our cottage. He exhibits pure beach fun joy. Marilyn writes, this is one of my favorite summer moments. My two-year-old granddaughter, Isabel, at Balsam Lake Provincial Park, enjoying one of my homemade muffins. Oh, that is so sweet.